What's up, YouTube? We're up in the fitness culture offices. We got the Apollo and Sage swimsuits there. We got my office over here. We got your boy's office, Tanner's office right there. He's behind the camera right now. Morgan's in this room. We'll go show you Morgan real quick. If you guys haven't, if you guys haven't watched the vlog, it's because I haven't been uploading them. But good news is we got them coming. Oh, are you on the is the is the baby on the boob? Is your boob in or out? I was gonna come show the baby. Oh, yeah. Alright, can't, can't go in because Morgan's got the baby on the boob. Kind of nice being here as a family. I'm going through mail right now. I'm awful, awful, awful. Like, I don't file things away. I need a good assistant because like, here's the title to my 1979 Porsche. Here's a check for $250,000. $150,000. That's an IOU. That's one you might want to keep. Dumb and dumber. Those are IOUs. We've been doing YouTube for a long time. Like literally we were watching a YouTube from 10 years ago. My, how the tables have turned. I was talking about one day having a kid in there. Lo and behold, I got a kiddo now. No money, more problems too. So we got Fitness Culture, the gym. That's its own LLC. We got Fitness Culture Programming. That is the app. That is the main thing. And then we have Apollo and Sage. Um, we're working on potentially supplements, strength collective, all sorts of things to come. I'm horrible at making decisions. I'm just bad. I'm just bad when it comes to like pulling the trigger on things. I'm that guy that leaves covered doors open because I don't I don't like the decision of closing it. So I'm trying to be better at that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I don't even like opening mail because I have to then decide to throw it away or to not throw it away. These are things about myself that I know and I need, probably need an assistant but what I'm doing, I'm sipping on my workout, pre-workout. We're gonna go down and hit an awesome shoulder day. I was looking back at a video that I did right before a photo shoot between like, I think it was the Houston Pro and the Olympia. Goodness gracious. I thought you guys were just being really mean when you're like, oh my gosh, Steve fell off. Yeah, I could see why watching that. I was freaking he-man. I looked yoked. So operation, get back into that. But right now, we're just gonna finish this and we're gonna head downstairs. You want to say hi to YouTube? Do you need a burp first? This is now my pre-workout. Can you introduce you to YouTube? Oh, you are just precious. Oh, that's your burp clock. Did you see that? I freaking clocked that with my foot. Hi. It's so bright here. Let's go out of the brightness. Come here. You guys think she looks more like me or Morgan? You're kind of scowling right now. Can I get a smile out of you? She just started smiling. Like at me, not just when she farts. She actually starts smelling at me. She's a, she's a very long baby. When she came out, the nurse was like, that's a big baby. That's a big baby. Trying out some different supplements. The nice thing about not being with a supplement company right now is that a lot of places send me stuff and I get to try out things. And I get to see what I like and what I don't like from a flavor perspective, but also from an ingredient perspective. So I've already taken a, my pre-workout. I added some. Um, that's an intro workout right there. So we're gonna sip on that throughout the workout. I also, I really wanna build a house because I have gym equipment that can't fit in the gym. It would go perfect in a home gym. And Morgan actually got a reformer today, the cold plunge, the sauna. I have my Nordic track treadmill that's at home. So I have all of these goodies that I need to, and I've always wanted to build a house. We should just build a house. I hate asking them to kill the music, but it's the middle of the day and we gotta film a YouTube and we don't wanna get copyrighted. This is week three on the program. The goal is to get to 220 pounds is my goal, to gain 12 pounds of muscle. I started at 200, I need to get to 220 and gain 12 pounds. 20 pounds of that needs, 12 of it needs to be muscle. I don't know why I'm taking off my shirt. Yeah, let's take off my shirt. No, no pump. This is coming in just straight cold. I'm guessing I'm gonna be, again, this doesn't really count because it's not in the morning, but on this, on this right now, on this right now, I weigh 213. With shoes, it is 235 in the afternoon, which means morning time, I'm maybe 206, which means in four weeks, I've gained about six pounds, which is good, kind of where I wanna be at. Um, maybe a little bit more, 207 would be nice to get to 220. Um, but just got back from Phoenix, was there this weekend visiting 
took my nieces down to see my sister who's at the Mayo Clinic. Um, she just had her first round of chemo. And it's always, it's always nice coming in here, thinking about what she's going through. Like, shit, life's hard for everyone. But when you're going through something like chemo, it's a little bit different. So I just, that's been kind of my inspiration. Like I'm trying to watch old videos to get, to get going and get pumped up. But really it's just like, man, I got a healthy body, knock on wood. Don't waste that away. Don't waste that time away. Because like, there's people out there that wish they were in your shoes right now. So yeah, not to get too deep on people before I work out, but let's jump into it. Um, today's a shoulder day and uh, we're gonna get it cracking. Feeling stronger day by day. See, this is what happens when you freaking own a gym. People are bringing shit in right and left. It's tailor made. Nah. Driving iron. He's a fine boy. What's the lie angle on him? Standard. Standard. Dude, that's that, that's clean. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's an intimidating. They're actually look at the look at the three iron. It's intimidating to look down. Is, I think it's a bugger. Knife. Which one's that? The three iron? Yeah. Three iron. Is that not gross? It just looks so like it looks like something you'd see from like 1950 in terms of when they just had the tiniest little blades. Like that for a three iron is so thick. I'm not I'm supposed to be doing a workout, and now I freaking this is the problem. We start talking goals. Not the best clubs. Callaway makes the best club. Interestingly enough, I was listening to a podcast. Ashton and I, we hit the ball a similar distance. I usually hit it about three or four yards further. But Ashton did say, and it's good that you guys were here too, because I think there was something said like, Steve should hit it way farther. But it's not how much muscle you have. They did a study on this. It's what kind of joint you're, or what kind of, how your spine is built. If you have a more flexible spine, or if you have one that's better for like power lifting. And so, really, I think that you have the bendiest spine of anyone I know. I guarantee, not bigger. if we had the members of this gym, I would, I'll take our four best golfers of this gym and put them up against four golf members of any gym okay. in the country. So we got shoulders today. We're on the swole program, so basically everything's gonna be a super set or even a giant set. But we're gonna basically rule out 12, 10, 8, 6 um, on the first movement, which is gonna be a strict overhead press. We'll see how we get as we get up in weight. So I have maxed out in this, so all of my weight is actually already uploaded in the app based upon my one rep max. I'm gonna be supersetting that with a YTW on the TRX. If you don't have a TRX to do that on, you can just do cable face pulls. Group B, seated behind the neck press. Now, we always talk about how people love to hate on the seated behind the neck press, but it is one of those things that I like to go down, get a good stretch, but everyone loves talking about shoulder impingements. To me, if you have mobile, healthy shoulders, which is why we do the YTWs, why we do the off the knee, we keep our shoulders healthy to be able to do movements like that. So then we, with our seated behind the neck, we got 12, 10, eight. So basically sticking in that hypertrophy rep range. And then we're gonna go off the knee, 90 degree off the knee extension, um, three sets of 12 before moving on to barbell upright row. So when I do these, I like going nice and wide. Um, and then we have a cable side raise, really focusing on that medial head, three sets of 12. And then the last thing we're gonna do, just a giant set, dumbbell bent over raise, T raise, seated lateral raise. Right, actually, we're gonna do a seated poliquin raise, and then we're gonna do front raise. So we're just gonna go seven, seven, seven on each one, and just do two sets for them. those fives later.
Up next, we got a behind the neck Smith machine. Now this Smith machine, it weighs a ton. It's not one of those ones that you can stack on a bunch of weight and look like you're super duper strong. This thing's probably just the bar alone is like 95 pounds. So we're gonna go 35 on each side off the, for the first set. Ten reps here. Straight into off the knee. Set. Biggest thing about these, you want to make sure let it come down all the way and then come all the way up. Don't want to stop short. Down, two, three, four. Next we got our barbell upright row. Trying to stay wide and close to the body. And then we got a lateral raise with a cable on each side. And be here. 12 reps. Guys, do I take the 45? Three. Four. How many of them are gonna take? It should be nice to the little people. with turning off the music is in here. I like something to listen to, but again, for YouTube, 
Can't have music going in the gym. I'll have to stop playing in my ear. I do want, I just envision this, this gym at home. I already have the pieces in my head, what it's gonna look like. Just gotta start building the damn thing. Up next, a little 21s. So we got bent over raise. One, two, three, four. Straight into our Paul Quinn raise. Two, three. it for shoulders. I actually got one more set there that we'll be filming for Instagram. But uh, cardio today is going to be rowing. Whew. That'll be Gonna be all for cardio today. I'm gonna go get some protein, get a little meal, get home to the baby. I'm on dad duty here in about an hour. <laughs> 